it's actually useful to have two monitors because before I was very used to just having one monitor. Uh, but that means it would also hide uh, OBS. All right, so I so I've done this twice before where I would do entire videos and I didn't turn on the mic and I was so pissed because like, oh, I just went through all that good content. I spent hours, right? It was really like one minute, one video was 40 minutes, another one was like an hour and 10. I was like, I just wasted all that time and really the content. So, but because I have two monitors, I can go like that and immediately look out of habit, right? And go, oh, my mic's not on. Yeah. All right, so I'm a little under weather because two nights ago I ate a little too much food and therefore did not get a good night's sleep, and now I'm getting a little sick. But uh, I got a good, great night's sleep yesterday, <clears throat> thanks to the sign of prayer. And, you know, now I just got to, you know, maybe get a couple nights more better sleep or something. So I want to pump, pump out maybe four videos today. I know it sounds like a lot, but this is really supposed to be a quick video, uh, like an update on Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb. I think I think now is a pretty good time, you know. So, so and I also want to start talking about Yield Wolf, specifically Yield Wolf, because you know this is definitely going to go into the strategy video, like how I'm trying to make money off all these uh, tomb forks. All right. Cause now, cause now I'm all about the tomb forks. Like I just find that they're just superior to everything else. Like, cause all other projects have the exact same volatility anyway. So if it's gonna be the same drops, I'd rather just get all the money that I can. And right now, those are tomb forks. So and they also tend to actually seem to like not really rug pull. Like so far, I've not heard of a tomb fork so far that has rug pulled. Because they all like have KYC, they I make me sometimes they'll dox themselves, and they have like their telegrams and discords and twitters all set up and stuff. So all the stuff that I normally look for in a rug pull, you can watch the video on that, right? Really don't, doesn't happen for whatever reason. Now of course it could still be a rug pull, so you still want to be careful, but you know as long as everyone sees that the Genesis isn't going to steal all your coins, you can get free coins. Take everything out afterwards, even sell everything if you want, and then just wait things out. And what you have to do with Tomb Forks anyway, so it works perfectly for really everyone, which is why I love Tomb Forks so much. All the stupid bullshit you have to deal with just doesn't happen. So anyway, uh, Yield Wolf is an auto compounder, so I, have, I, so I quickly realized that it's basically turns any project out there into pancake auto swap or auto cake so you remember from pancake swap i don't want to change but on pancake swap you can buy the native token for the site pancake and it auto compounds over time constantly and the reason why is because they have these community compounders right they call it a bounty reward here in yield wolf but it's the exact same thing so what's essentially happening is you're actually getting the full daily APY. And this is very useful for me and now you because you want to be involved in a lot of these projects, but you don't have time anymore to manage like compound manually, deal with the fees, put it back in, wait for stupid trader Joe or spooky swap to respond to, you know, get your tokens. And it's like very time consuming. So Yield Wolf is like the perfect solution for that. And on the left hand side, you can see your staked vaults. And I'm going to go over all of this again in the strategy video that, you know, everyone's been requesting. Now, I don't have anything here, so it's just going to say loading. But when you go to your staked vaults, it'll just, you know, you can pick whatever you want. There's BSC, Harmony One, Salo, or Celo, Polymatic, Polygon, Kronos. They even have Kronos. So I know Kronos is a really big blockchain, and I don't know much about it. Maybe I should take a look. But I don't want to have to deal with installing more wallets. Then you have Avalanche and Phantom, of course. So, <clears throat> they have everything here. Uh, so, it just shows you the list of everything that you've staked. So it's And everything's auto-compounding. So, right now, I've got, like, multiple projects. I must have up almost 20 projects in. When I say projects, I specifically mean every single pool. So, right now, I'm in... F Tome AVAX and 
flat AVAX on Yield Wolf. So I'm in these two. So I consider that two projects. I guess you could call it one if it's all frozen too, but you know, I shouldn't say projects. I should say I have two pools. That that's a that's a more accurate way. So it would be very time consuming for me if I had to basically go in here, you know, claim, provide liquidity, sell, convert, and then put it back in. That's like what, four or five actions, right? Four or five X worth of gas fees. All right. And I have to do that for every single pool that I'm in. So if I have 20 pools, I'm going to be spending like an hour and a half doing all this shit. And then what happens? I live in New York City. It's 8.50 a.m. What do you think happens? Gas fees go up because every asshole here in New York City and the East Coast, right, we're all, we're all using the network. So, you know, it, it's so annoying, right? And then price action may go up or down, which is even worse. So the reason why I'm talking so much about this is because, and the problem is I got to do the same thing in the next video. So I really do have to make that Yield Wolf video. Going forward, I'm basically going to be talking strategy now. In addition to what I already have been doing, everything's going to go on. For me personally, everything's going on Yield Wolf. I, I don't see the downside to using this at all. All I see is just upside. And I'm pretty sure Yield Wolf takes a small percentage cut, which I assume is the daily APY differential, right? But sometimes the yield is actually higher than even on the website itself. And this creates constant buying pressure on the protocol, right? Which is, which is what you want. So everybody wins. All right. So, all right. So let's hold, hold up on you all for now. Now they made an announcement on discord last night and obviously it's working. So let's go back here. So Frozen Tomb and Snow Tomb had their rewards adjusted. So you can see here that, you know, they correctly have created a multiplier. And everyone's now aping into F-Tome, the base token for Frozen. And everyone's aping into Snow Tomb uh, AVAX with 2975X. Now this is a little confusing because even though the multiplier is higher... The APY seems to be still kind of shitty, but everyone else doesn't seem to care, which is great. And I asked the dev, and Carrie said in Discord that the APR is derived from the share value. So in Snow Tomb's case, it's slots, and in Frozen Tomb's case, it's flocks with an F. So I'm like, oh, okay. But either way, I always want the shares, but I also recognize now that I guess because of the APY adjustments, right? So for example, I'm in F-Tome AVAX and Flot AVAX, you know, then I just simply get both of these clowns. You know, I'm very good. Uh, some people do like the single staking. I personally don't like them anymore, but maybe some of you do care a lot about impermanent loss, both up and down. So, you know, single staking is perfect for you. <clears throat> So, but I personally don't give a shit because now that I have Yield Wolf, what's basically happening is constantly buying whatever it is I want. So over time, I naturally get more F-Tones and AVAX, more flocks and AVAX. Uh, where is... Oh, I got to create a compounder here. I'm eating vitamin C tablets because, you know, obviously I just sold you I'm sick a little. All right. If I were to do Snow Tomb, which kind of sucks because the APY is so much lower. <laughs> yeah, because 2.35% 2, 2, a day is not nearly good enough. <laughs> all right. See, see, our standards are so much higher now, all right? That's why we're going to get, you and I are going to get rich, or if you're already rich and watching me, you're going to get richer. And every once is going to get killed by the Federal Reserve, sadly. All right. Um, yeah, I, would, I watch Gregory Manorino, obviously, all the time. And uh, <clears throat> he actually said that the Trucker Rebellion Canada is going to fail. And I thought, wow. And again, he, he yeah, because he used Occupy Wall Street as the same thing. And he's like, yeah, because no one's protesting the real problem, which is the Federal Reserve, central banks. I, I think Occupy Wall Street tried to do that. But it's the same old stuff. Now, obviously, I hope he's wrong, but I think he might actually be right. Because now they're just arresting everybody, they're shutting down all their money, and then there's no governmental support, right? They're, they didn't get elected in the office. So, I don't know, I haven't decided if I want to tweet that out yet, because I don't want to, like, cause FUD and demoralize people. Because I really do like the Trucker Rebellion. 
All right, but it's pretty obvious that Trudeau is not as big of a cuck f word as I thought he was, right? Yeah, but which makes sense because you know he's a puppet, like every, like our president and everywhere else. Right? Central banks are the ones that control everything and dictate policy, not you or me or your votes. You know, uh, they just don't really affect the local level and sometimes the state level because that's very energy and micromanagement intensive. So that's that's pretty much the only place where, you know, we might be able to turn the ship around. But now that the FBI and DOJ are coming out with, you know, cryptocurrency units to specialize in seizing and tracking shit, I mean, it's going to be tough. But in the meantime, we'll get rich and then, I don't know, we'll have to hope that uh, St. Nick... Which I saw the document BBC documentary on him, an America First movement, like the real one. I mean, yeah, I, I think we'll be able to turn this around, but we just need a little more time. So hopefully we have that. You know, so in the meantime, we'll get rich off of this shit. Anyway, uh, with that being said, I don't know why I went into that ramble. But Snow Tomb, AVAX, but yeah, they're coming after crypto, so... Yo, just be aware of that, all right? Just start using, like, Tornado Cash, all right? You saw Ethereum. I don't know, what is it? Tornado Cash. Because they're going to just start seizing your shit. So, you know, I'm going to fucking use this shit, even though it's on Ethereum. All right, this is the site, Tornado.Cash. Uh, I don't know how that website's still alive, personally, but, you know, I, I put it out there for you. I'll probably do a dedicated video on that too someday. I, I I don't think I have to worry about legal implications with that, so I should be able to make a video on that. Uh, you know, should come to think of it. Why don't I go to YouTube here and just see if uh, these videos are here? Tornado Cash. Okay, uh, this was from five months ago. Smart contract protein. Now transaction high yield staking. They do staking? I didn't know they did staking. Oh, okay. Well, I'm definitely going to have to do a thing. But yeah, it's totally anonymous. All right. That's why I think his name is Sifu, the Wonderland, Time Wonderland scammer dev. He laundered all his money from dumping Time Wonderland when the project was going down under because of him. And he used Tornado Cash to hide his money. Like, you can see what goes in, but you can't see where it goes out. Right. So he, he stole, I guess, I don't know. Isn't that guy should be in jail or something? <clears throat> So, yeah, but, all right, we'll make a video, we'll make a video on that, too, I'll add this to the queue. Tornado Cash does staking, apparently. Uh, my, my content queue is never going to end, but that's good, because that means this channel will have, like, you know, 30 million subscribers someday. All right, anyway, yeah, there's just so much good info, I know it's supposed to be a short video, but there's a lot, all these things tied together, all right? There's a reason why I can make it, and even more importantly, rebuild my income from losing almost everything in Metaverse Pro to coming back to, like, a lot of money per day, all right? And I don't give a shit about the fact that I have until March 10th to pay my bills, all right? Because I'd rather be buying more of this, all right? I want to be buying. Right? right now, crypto is under a shit ton of pressure, right? Because of the Russia-Ukraine bullshit, all right? So, where is... Yeah, so, okay. So, the original thing I want to talk about is, basically, the devs of Frozen and Snow Tomb are trying to hyper-pump the base token, Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb coins. Because if we don't go above peg, you know, the project, you know, pretty much dies off, or it doesn't do... You know, it doesn't it doesn't make nearly as much money. So they've changed the multiplier awards. Now basically S Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb now, you know, pump out a lot of money. Alright, compared to everywhere else. So me personally I do slot S Tomb because I still want these slots. Because as long as S Tomb goes up, slot goes up. Right? As long as Frozen Tomb goes up, flots go up. Now unfortunately they don't have a flot and F Tome liquidity pair here so what i did personally was i did flot avax and f tone avax it still pays even more apy even uh, anyway so unfortunately they don't have a chart here oh they do have a chart all right oh thank god i think they did finally have, or maybe they always had this shit all right so that's pretty much what's happened and it's obviously working because now we're going back above peg in fact uh we're a frozen tomb is almost back at peg, but people are taking some profit because, you know, we're going straight up. Fine, I don't care. I just want more of this shit. 
So last night when I went to bed, this was about 10 hours ago, maybe. Uh, Snow Tomb. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I have to tell you this. So, yeah, Snow Tomb was like down here or something, right? 320. Now we're at $4.60 something cents. So it looks like we're finally catching a bid. Slots was also down, right? Now it's almost doubled, right? We're going much higher, right? As long as people keep doing this, right? Yield Wolf is auto compounding, constantly buying Snow Tombs, right? That's what these little micro whatever buys are. So it's, con it's creating constant buy pressure. And I know I'm not supposed to do ego stuff, but at least now I can advise on what a, a tomb fork is supposed to do now. All right, because I can, because I've done like a million of these. And I will be doing a lot more of them too, because again, Yield Wolf can tell me about new tomb forks, new vaults. So that's how I'm finding, now I'm going to find new projects. I actually invested in them, so that's, why I'm going to talk about based finance and magic finance. Yeah, because I'm still waiting on other tomb forks, but the prices on them are too high. So maybe I'll save those videos for like tomorrow. <clears throat> so here's Frozen Tomb. This thing was as low as like 28, 31 bucks. Now you can see that this Pepe goes up to 70. Flat, same shit. And by the way, I bought at the bottom before I, you know, LP'd it onto Yield Wolf, so I'm very happy. It's only like 60 to 120 bucks each, but, you know, right now, money is obviously tight, but I still want these projects, so I'm just buying up everything and doing a little bit of, you know, money making, because, you know, again, because the APYs are, daily APYs are so high and everything's auto-compounding like crazy, basically what's happening is, like I've said before, Thanks to Yield Wolf, I can turn every single one of these Tomb Fork projects, every single one of these, you know, uh, liqui uh, liquidity pools or pairs that these Tomb Forks are creating, all into auto cake, auto compounding shit. It's like you're basically this is this, this is infinite money generator. So it's just a matter of how quickly you want to make money. All right, <clears throat> Piggy Finance, Piggy Piggy, oink oink. You know, is now having a severe correction, right? Now it's still above what I paid for it, but it would have been nice to still have like six hundred or twelve hundred dollar piggy shares. But because you know I have the auto compounder on Yield Wolf, I mean I don't give a shit. Well, I care much less. Well, I guess I don't really. Well, yeah. Well, I mean I'm not supposed to have emotion, so yeah, I don't really give too sh to that much of a deal. Because now, thanks to Yield Wolf, right? Again, it's constantly compounding, so. I'm, dollar cost averaging from the bottom up because the money is made when you buy at the bottom and then you wait it out get some good yield and then it goes up right that's exactly what's happening here right my snow tomb positions and really my frozen tomb positions but it's mostly in slot uh it's mostly in slot s tomb are doing really really well right because everyone just aped in the frozen tomb first so that's why the chart for frozen is better but Again, now that I'm doing this video right now, it's 9.03 a.m. on a Friday here in New York City. Yeah, it's finally catching its bid, too. So, I'm not going to tell you how much money I'm making, but my big position in slot and S-Tome, that pair, because I want both, right? Because I know both are going straight up, and I really want both. But I also want to help the protocol, so that's why I'm in S-Tome. It's, it's the perfect pair for me. Yeah, it's it's... All right, I'm gonna go. I'm easily gonna go back to double my money, right? Because that's the peg, right? And slot's supposed to be like what four to six hundred bucks, right? Six hundred dollars for slot is really good, all right? And then, uh, you know, I actually think they should just leave the reward pool like this because we need this constant buy pressure. So if they change it, uh, shit, I'm, I might have to, <laughs> might have to sell off a little bit, all right? So, all right, so that's pretty much Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb. You can choose to do whatever you want. I already told you what I'm doing, all right? But ultimately, what I really want is I want all the... If you're going to do this, uh, you really want to concentrate on S-Tome and the slots. And if you're doing Frozen Tomb, you really want to concentrate on F-Tomes and flots, right? But the priority has to be the base token, so F-Tomes and S-Tomes, all right? And then just dump it all on Yield Wolf, all right? So I would personally recommend against the single stake because it's just shit APY. It's let there's there's no risk. There's less much less risk, but that's reflected in your shitty daily APY. 
So you know what? I'd rather just get twice the amount of money I was going to get anyway, even with the permanent loss. I mean, well, what do you care? You're getting twice or thrice or four times the reward. <clears throat> right? So, yeah. I can do single staking FTO, and that's great, 3% a day. But you know what? I'd rather take almost twice that amount and do FTO AVAX. Hey, what's wrong with having more AVAX? I like AVAX. You like AVAX, right? That shit's already going... Like, when all this correction stuff is... Which is technically ongoing, AVAX is still holding really strong compared to everyone else. Look, it's $86.39. Stupid F-word idiot Bitcoin is, like, down, like, a few grand. All right? I mean, I know it's all percentage relative, but... Uh, yeah, let's see. Phantom's actually doing okay, too. Let's see, where are you? $1.93, all right? It's $1.93 down here. All right, so, I mean, I, I'm just really hoping that these central banks aren't going to actually get Ukraine and Russia to start shooting at each other. Because that's actually going to cause a big, severe drop-off in everything, right? From crypto to stock markets and, uh, God... It is what it is, right? But I really just hope that doesn't happen because they just want to, like, create... The central banks just want to create money out of thin air, so they need an excuse to do it. So wars are the perfect reason. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. But there's so much social media. I'm, I assume Mike Cernovich is on it, right? So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll... I don't know, man. I don't know. But, well, let's try not to worry too much about it, so... Yeah, so, but take, take your pick, right? But uh, I'm in F-Tome AVAX. I'm in Flot AVAX because there's no F-Tome Flot because that would be my preferred thing. I, I like to keep things simple because I'm going to be buying a lot of these projects. So the less shit I have to deal with, even if I have this handy little tool, your staked vaults, uh, you know, the easier on my life. And then for Snow Tomb, I'm just in Slot S Tomb. It's... It's pro uh oh, it's actually more APY than everything else. Huh. Yeah, well whatever. I want everything, right? I want everything. So slot S tone, because again, look at these charts. We're we're all below way below price. I mean by the time you see this video, it's gonna be a little higher, but yeah, I bought at the bottom. Alright, I bought down here. I I don't care. And then when I bought higher and I held it, alright, you gotta hold. Buy and hold, alright? Like, you guys have it easy, because when you buy and hold, you're not making income. But here, in Tomb Forks, you are buying and holding, and you're getting a really good daily income from it, right? So, why do idiots dump this shit? I don't know. They're, they're stupid. Or they're trying to swing trade. You know? It's one of those two, right? It can only be one of those two, right? And yes, yeah, stupid also includes inexperience. So now, you know better. So... So you lose money on this, I mean, you're, you're obviously not listening to me, you know, because again, you know, take a little bit of profit each day too, right? Now, in my case, I'm trying to take as little as possible because I know this thing's going straight up as of this uh, video recording. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be, I should probably do Zilla Finance. I've been really wanting to do this for like a million years. So I'll probably do Zilla Finance, especially now. Because that's actually at the bottom, and it's going to be under pressure for a while until Kong Finance comes out, which is their three ohm companion site, right? It's the Frozen Tomb of Zilla, right? And that's the other thing, too, that I like about Snow and Frozen Tomb. They already have the infrastructure in place. They've been around longer, right? 30 to 45 days. That's a critical time frame for two new, two, new tomb forks. And it has the two websites here, right? Snow Tomb, Frozen Tomb. Snow Tomb, Frozen Tomb. It's got the 2 ohm, 3 ohm thing going. Because a Tomb Fork will only succeed when you have what 2 ohm and 3 ohm did, right? There's a reason why Tomb Finance, Harry E, basically is kind of soft buying out 2 ohm and 3 ohm. And then look, they're looking into Piggy Finance for, some, for whatever reason, right? You know, like you, you, need com you need companion sites, so you can't do this alone. And I'm glad that a lot of these tomb forks have quickly figured that out. So that's money in your pocket. That's money in my pocket. That's like extra millions of dollars in Dow King's pocket. All right, you know that that, that son of a bitch is, you know he's he's gonna he's gonna be buying like yet another house in like Hawaii, Malibu, or I don't know whatever has water around it. Yeah, but we love Dow King. You know he's a super cool guy. So and, and sadly, apparently he did some kind of video on Charlie Munger, and then it got banned. 
and then I guess I assume he got like a warning. Because I actually have a community strike warning too on this fucking channel. Because fucking these fucking asshole political censorship SJW shits. But you know they will all pay one way or another. You know whether it's you know Saint Nick taking control of the government or you know you die of natural causes and then you gotta go face you know Jesus Christ and God. So whatever. I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be Zilla Finance income update. All right. So that's one's going to be slightly different, but still going to be the same principle, right? Yield Wolf, Yield Wolf, Yield Wolf. I, I freaking love it. It's actually better than, I didn't say this, but it's better than BP Finance because BP Finance is really slow on the compounding. There's no community compounding. So now with Yield Wolf, well, anybody can compound. Just hit the button, all right? There's a, did I click any of these? Yeah, you, okay, we'll just click, all right, we'll click this one, all right? Because any any clown could just come in here. If this website would load, so I can end this video, all right? Any idiot can just come in here, and it tells you when was the last time it compounded, right? And just hit the compound button. You pay the gas fee, all right? Every, any, any, everyone, so this is really important. Yield Wolf does not have to pay this gas fee because the community pays the gas fee. This is why this is, why this is so good. That's why Auto Cake and Pancake Swap are so fucking good because of this function right here, right? Beefy Finance is gonna get blown out of the water. Now I'll still use Beefy Finance when I need to if the stablecoin yield on that is still better, right? Because I think I I could I check really quickly on Yield Wolf for stablecoins. I, I don't want to navigate to it, but yeah, the yields are very crappy, and it's all like you know paired up with another dollar stablecoin, so it's like. I, I want the single staking. So in that case, BP Finance is still better. But you know, we'll see what we'll see what Yield Wolf does. I mean, I assume this is a pretty new website, so and their devs seem to be very responsive. Uh, they're very competent, and they're they're pumping out new vaults all the time. So like Yield Wolf is definitely going to surpass BP Finance eventually, right? Uh, with the exception of stablecoin investing. But if they can figure out a way to create a single stake. High yield, that would be my preferred high yield vault for, say, Dola and what was the other coin? True USD or TUSD that's on Phantom. All right, and it still pays pretty much similar high APYs on Yield Wolf. But you can bet I'm going to put all my shit into that. Like, all the, all the, all the stable coin money that is, right? You know, because remember, this whole thing's going to crash one day, right? Once this Bitcoin bull run finally goes up, peaks out, everyone, and then I dump everything, I tell you to dump everything, or start taking very aggressive profits, right, because that's what I'm going to do, and still stay in these projects, right, and then I'll be that, so, well, so much for a quick video, this was 28 minutes and 22 seconds, I'll see you in the next video, Zilla Finance Update Strategies, uh, and yeah, see, this thing's already going up, I love it, finally, see, being patient and buying and holding and making sure the fundamentals are right always pays off, all right? I don't have to get paid off really big. Thank God, too, because, like, I actually spent all my money buying more projects and actually bought a little bit of Poseidon, but that's because I might have possible insider info, so I'll leave it at that. And from the Elite Discord, of course. And, um, yeah, I still need to add, like, 1200 bucks to my bank account so, so I can make sure I make rent on March 10th. So yeah. All right. I've rambled on enough. 